I don't know. Maybe it's because my understanding isn't uh, technical enough. But it seems to me that both Jack and to an extent Pulse Audio within uh, the Linux GNU operating system really I, I don't understand I, I think just using ALSA itself somehow more directly maybe I just don't understand enough about how these things work and maybe somebody can if, if anyone comes across this video they can say you know I'm, I'm a dumb dumb or whatever that happens on YouTube all the time but I, I just had a problem with an application that uh, the only thing I really had to do was change the audio from Pulse to ALSA and then it worked perfectly again before that it was sort of putting out audio that was uh, skipping or you know yeah skipping I guess you would say so I know that Jack is really difficult to use and even though the latest version of our door uh, says that it can be used without jack it seems to become pre-configured to to use to use jack and to make it hard to to not use it although I might try that and see if it works better that way tell you the truth this is a little bit off on a tangent a side thing but it's all connected to the whole audio problems within Linux pulse jack also which is something different anyway it's sort of the what is what pulse is built on the driver or, or what what you would have what have you a anyway the point the point being uh, audacity can probably do everything that our dur can do it just doesn't look as nice I mean so what yeah, uh, I don't know. If you can make things more simple, then why have you made them more complicated? That's it.